a man planted a golden seed in the ground after being nourished by the well water. The seeds continued to grow at a phenomenal rate, eventually climbing all over the house, touching a gourd bigger than a man. In order to find out what is inside the gourd, the man and his wife take up a saw, ready to cut it in two. The family is excited to find out, but halfway through the saw, the gourd shone with light, as the gas inside became more and more, and finally the gourd burst open. From inside, a puff of seven colored smoke erupted. The crowd stared in disbelief at the scene before them. A bright rainbow bridge shone in the sky. The small, ramshackle straw house no longer existed. In its place was a magnificent mansion. They had become the richest people in the country, all because of a thoughtless act of a man. Just a month ago, the man's parents had died one after the other. They left a letter of testament, a fair share of the estate to them. But the brother didn't give the letter to his brother. He took the entire family fortune for himself. He and his wife live in the largest room. He left his brother and siblings to sleep in the woodshed. The brother had no means of subsistence. He had to fetch firewood by day. He weaves straw shoes at night to earn a living. Even the dogs in the yard can't bear to see this. To help this poor man, the dog went to steal the suicide note in the middle of the night. He soon found the suicide note in the cupboard and gave it to his poor brother. But the brother was honest, to say the least. He returned the note to his brother in its original form. The brother unceremoniously grabbed the note. He went into the house to look for the thief who had stolen it. His wife saw footprints all over the floor. He concluded that the dog had stolen the note, and so the dog was put in the barn. To prevent his brother from sharing his inheritance with him, he burned the suicide note. He then drove his brother's family out of the yard. He told them to go out and make their own way. It was with great sadness and anger that the three men, braving the pouring rain, they set out on a homeless journey. Eventually, they found an abandoned straw house, but their son, who had spent the day in the rain with them, he had caught a cold and was unconscious. Looking at their son lying on the ground, the man was heartbroken and helpless. He decided to ask his brother for some rice porridge to feed his sick son, while his brother was eating roast chicken with his wife. When he heard that his brother had come to ask for rice, the brother said he didn't have any food at home for him. He told him to find his own way. He also threw the dog, which was dying of hunger, at him. Seeing his brother's heartlessness, he was left with tears of anguish. He had no choice but to take the dog and return to the straw house, looking at the family he had to feed. The man was so worried that he couldn't speak, not knowing how to feed them. At that moment, the wife took out her dowry gold ring from the cupboard. She told him to sell it and buy some rice, to tide over the immediate difficulties. The next day, the man sold the ring to an old man. The greedy old man wanted to make a higher profit. He only gave three cents for it, in order to save on family expenses expenses. The couple chose to plant the land to get some food, but the land was covered with stones and stakes. They had to spend another day clearing the land. What happened next changed the man's fate forever. Two swallows came to build a nest under the man's roof. They managed to give birth to three swallows, but that day when they went to plant, the dog was left alone with the baby. A python set its eyes on the swallows under the eaves of the house. By the time the dog found them, only the last swallow was left in the nest. The python opened its mouth to the swallow. When the dog saw this, he went straight for it. He pulled the snake by the tail and tore it off. A battle between dog and snake. The python uses its huge body to wrap itself around the dog. The python is about to eat the last of the swallows, but the puppy managed to use its last bit of strength. He managed to ward off the killer blow, but it was to no avail. The anaconda squirmed closer to the swallow. The look in its eyes is one of hunger for food. The moment of truth. The man cuts the snake down with his scythe. The swallow is saved. He then bandaged the swallow's wound with silk thread. Tears of gratitude in the young swallow's eyes. After the couple's hard work and care, the swallow swallow regained its strength and was able to fly in the air. The family is very happy. The swallow had recovered so quickly, but at this moment the swallow had no family left. It was left on its own. Waiting for late autumn to come, the swallow bids farewell to the man, with the family looking on, on its way to the south for the winter. This little swallow keeps flying south, through the clouds and fog, and finally to the swallow's paradise. This is the land of their swallow family. In the midst of the fairy air, a glorious palace appeared. It was full of exotic plants. Gold and jewels abound. Even the palace was made of real gold. The swallow rushes straight into the palace, to tell the queen of swallows that a man had saved him, pleading for some reward. The queen was touched by the man's kindness, so she gave him a golden seed, and told him to give it to the man, saying that if he planted it, he would gain great wealth. And when winter turned to spring, the swallow returned to the thatched cottage again. Unlike before, this time it had a golden seed in its mouth that shone with gold. The wife cried out in surprise to the family to see it. The swallow tossed the golden seed to the man, holding the heavy golden seed. The man's first thought was that he was going to be rich. Then he planted it in the soil. The seed soon broke through the confines of the soil. It became a vine and climbed to the roof. By nightfall, a huge gourd had
has appeared on the roof. When the gourd was ripe, they pluck it down and cut it off with a hacksaw. Soon, with a flash of seven colors, their old straw house was transformed into a courtyard of pure gold. The eaves of the house also glowed brightly from time to time. A few swallows fly around them, throwing gold dust down. The gold dust fell on the family, turning their tattered horse straw clothes into gorgeous silk garments. The family walked into the courtyard in disbelief. The family walked into the courtyard in disbelief. Inside, the decor was extraordinarily grand. Not only was there a private garden and pond, the house was also filled with countless pieces of gold, silver and jade. Even the tables and cupboards are made of gold. The rice bins were filled with food that would not be eaten in 100 years. All of this makes them feel like they are living a dream. But the truth is that they are the richest people in the country. They didn't become arrogant and domineering. Instead, they did charity work. The man opened his granary and gave a bag of rice to every family in the village. The old man is extremely grateful to him, and his wife opens her cupboard. Inside were mountains of luxurious silks, and gave them to the women of the village. The old woman said, I've never seen such fine cloth in my life. The villagers came home laden with grain and cloth. At the same time, his fat brother soon found out that his brother had grown gold seeds and become rich. His wife sent him to the house to ask for the gold seeds. With the dream of making a fortune, the brother ran out of the family home, towards his brother's luxurious mansion. This made him forget that he was a 300-pound fat man. Five minutes later, he arrived at his brother's house. He caked in the door. The nephew warmly invites him into his house. The couple greeted the strutting brother. The brother was ungrateful for this. He barged rudely into their main hall. He was dumbfounded by the decor. He too was dumbfounded. All the furniture was made of gold. Even the floor was made of gold. He accidentally fell on the floor. A gold coin on the floor caught his eye. He bit it with his teeth. And it was real. Then, there was another gold encrusted chest on the table. He took it back to his home without saying a word. And when he opened it, it was filled with gold coins. His wife was beaming with joy. Then he said, the golden seeds had been given to him by the swallows. If they could only get the swallow to send them gold seeds too, then they would be richer than their brother's family. The next day, he built three swallow nests under the eaves of his house, but not a single swallow came to build a nest there. All the swallows flew into his brother's house, so the brother came to his brother's house. He knelt down to one of the swallows. He begged the swallow to go to his house. When the swallow had flown into his house, he caught a python in a sack, and simulated that the snake was going to eat the swallow, and he reached out in time to help, but the snake was strange. It just wouldn't eat the swallow. The man had no choice. He had to drag the snake upwards by tying twine around its head, as the snake was too strong. The man was dragged off the roof. The two swallows in the nest fell down with him. He was killed on the spot, but he was still determined. He stepped on the python's rope. The angry python took a bite out of his bottom. The yard was filled with screams of anguish. When his wife saw this, she immediately ran into the yard and carried him back to the house. She placed a jar of fire on the area where the man had been bitten, hoping that this would remove the blood from the wound. The man still did not give up his desire for the seeds of the swallow. At night he climbs up to the roof with a ladder. He grabbed the swallow from its nest, breaks its little legs, he throws it to the ground. When this is done, the man ties the ribbon for the swallow with great mercy. The swallow looked at this scene, not understanding what this meant. But to the man, it was the only way to get the golden seed. At night he had a beautiful dream. In the dream the swallow flew to heaven, and fetched the golden seed for him. The seeds fell to the ground, and a bunch of gourds came forth, filled with an endless supply of gold, silver, jade, and grain. But soon a blue monster appeared, and swallowed all his wealth. The man woke up with a start. Luckily, it was only a dream, but it also foreshadowed the end of his life. After dawn, the swallow can fly high in the sky again. The couple were overjoyed. Let it go to heaven to find golden seeds for itself. The swallow crosses the clouds. Finally, it arrives in the swallow's paradise. He told the queen of swallows that he had been abused by a man. The queen decided to avenge him. She handed the swallow a seed of evil. She told it to be planted by a man. It will be followed by bad luck. When the man got the seed, it was a treasure. He thought it was a golden seed. Without knowing it, he planted it. As the well water seeped in, the seeds soon burst through the soil, growing a vine. By the end of the night, three huge gourds were produced. He and his wife thought they were about to make a fortune. When the three gourds had borne fruit, the man spent a lot of money to find two carpenters to saw the gourds open for him. As the saw ran from side to side inside the gourd, the flesh of the gourd spreads outwards. When the saw reached the middle, it suddenly jammed. The man put his ear to the gourd. There was a thud. The gourd bursts open instantly. After after a puff of yellow smoke. 
From inside, a group of rat soldiers appeared. They surrounded the fat man, demanding food from him. The man had never seen such a scene before. He fell to his knees in fear, but the rats won't let him go. They now opened the warehouse door. Collectively they rushed to the grain inside. By the time the couple arrived, the grain inside had turned into rat droppings. The man is not happy. He asked the carpenter to saw open a second gourd, thinking there must be a hidden treasure inside. With dreams of making a fortune, they started on the second gourd again. This time it's still stuck in the middle. A purple smoke comes out of it. As the smoke grew larger and larger, three monks emerged from inside. They gathered around the fat man and chanted incantations. They swept away the only valuable brocade he had in his house. But by now the fat man was still undeterred. He set his eyes on the last gourd, remembering the lesson he had learned twice before. His wife advised him not to open the last gourd again. But the man, overwhelmed with desire, does not listen to her. He kicked his wife away. He picked up the axe and struck the gourd. A cloud of purple smoke rose from inside. With a flash of lightning, the gourd was split in half. A purple cat came out of it. The couple ran away in fear, but the cat demon wasn't going to let them go. It lunged at the man and bit him. In desperation, the man rushed into the house. The cat demon hissed and burst in. The whole house was smashed to pieces. Soon it was a pile of rubble. The couple screamed and rushed out the door, but the cat demon was stuck in the door and couldn't move. The couple fainted from fear as they watched the crazy cat demon. The couple were so frightened that they passed out, and the cat demon turned into a cloud of smoke and disappeared. The greedy fat brother ended up with his family in ruins.